Dr. Boros, it's hard to summarize a 28-year career, but could you give us a thumbnail as to how you've really evolved the past 28 years? Not really. <laughs> I can't give you a thumbnail, but I'll do the best I can. I think you can do it's it. <laughs> really, it's very fascinating because mm -hmm. there's medicine and then there's the career and professional business aspect of medicine. And um, I have seen an amazing amount of, I, I'll just say things, that have occurred. Uh, when I first came down here, we st I started in a 700 square foot uh, respiratory division uh, at the Pooh Hospital, which was just being built. Um, I took uh, respiratory tech Michael Rivera. We trained him how to do cardiac echo, vascular work. We put him with some very high quality people and he became extremely experienced. So when I came down here, I started at Depu in a small little area. We put in the nuclear lab and therefore we were able to do a lot of cardiovascular contemporary services. That went on for a while and then there was a, a very fascinating merger between Depu Hospital and the Monroe County Hospital that occurred in the late 90s. And um, I wound up working out of uh, the Monroe County Hospital for a while uh, in the merger, which is now Lower Florida Keys. And then there were some economic motivations that mm -hmm. created a, a, a bit of a heated discord uh, at that period of time, and I had to make a decision as to was I going to walk in uh, lockstep with, uh, with a philosophy that I didn't agree with, or was I going to try to go out on my own? And that was in uh, the mid-1990s, like 95, 96. I, I really had, was forced to make a choice. Mm -hmm. So I decided at that point I was going to create a multi-specialty group for the community. I mean, I'm, very pa I'm a big patient advocate. Mm -hmm. Your rights, the patient's rights, that comes first. It always comes first, whether you're dealing with um, medical decision making or financial concerns for the person or the best quality institution to send somebody. That's basically where I come from inherently, okay? I look at you from head to toe. Yes, you may have a problem, but you also have other issues in your life. And I try to always make a package that is custom, customized for any particular person's needs, okay? So I wind up um, um, moving away from the relationship administratively at that time, and I form an 11-man multi-specialty group called Integrated Medical Services, mm -hmm. which is now where the dollar store is. Really? And so, okay. yeah, so we had 11 different types of specialties under one roof and complete diagnostics, CT, MRI once a week. We had primary care, cardiology, we had general surgery, orthopedics, uh, neurology, and I created that entire group uh, and brought everybody together under one roof. Mm -hmm. And it was a really wonderful learning experience because there is a very strong axiom that's very true about doctors. Mm -hmm. Trying to get doctors together to do anything is like trying to herd cats. <laughs> it can't don't do it. happen. <laughs> <laughs> not, not without a lot of labor and sweat and tears. Mm -hmm. But we pulled it off and uh, there was, the climate just wasn't right, the timing. Uh, other things were going on, and there were there was a, a big economic derivative uh, at that time for um, buyouts of medical practices, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and um, there still was a, quite a bit of bubbaism down here in backdoor politics. But um, I stayed, and uh, and uh, that entity uh, ultimately didn't make it, not because people weren't coming and loving to have like the McDonald's of, of medicine, everything right. was right there, have it your way, that's Burger King. But you know, we really, we really did something phenomenal and, um, and the community loved it and we were offering wonderful services at the right kind of pricing. Mm -hmm. And as we were talking about earlier today, when I think about somebody who has a, a problem, I think about where can I do a particular test that doesn't do a wallet-ectomy on them, you know? Right. You, people need to, consumers of medical services need to be smart, they need to be wise, mm -hmm. they need to find out what is a test gonna cost me because there's a huge discrepancy, sometimes $20,000 difference or $15,000 difference in what you're being charged by a corporate entity versus some of the private mm -hmm. uh, facilities that have been built here by doctors to help patients get great care at the right price. So as we were talking earlier, people need to be uh, smart consumers. Well, absolutely, and that's a big problem because if the prices are too high to Dr. Boros, 
people won't get the services done when they need the services And they done. shouldn't be afraid to ask. It's mm -hmm. their money, it's where they want to go, and they should have the right to make a choice and say to their doctor, where are you sending me for that test? Is there another location where I can have that test done and it will be one-fifth the price? Mm -hmm. And when you pay 20% of, let's say, the copay on $20,000 versus 20% on $4,000, the savings are immense. And it may well be the same doctor like me. I may be monitoring and interpreting the test at one facility, mm -hmm. okay, where the price may be substantially different. And at my facility, it's significantly reduced, okay? But I'm the same guy who's monitoring and interpreting the test mm -hmm. and reading the results out. So anyway, that was a really interesting experience and everybody scattered from IMS over there at the dollar store. It's 12,500 square feet. It's a really cool project. And um, so I stayed in that building for a while because I didn't really have any other place to go, but I had my eye on the Knights of Columbus building across from the Key West Citizen. Okay. And so for almost a year, you know, I was pretty much bankrupt at that time, uh, I kept driving home down Northside Drive and said, I'm going to get that building, I'm going to get that building. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, a lot of my patients were Italian, mm -hmm. okay, and they were part of the Knights of Columbus. And I kept talking to wonderful people, Mike Halperin, Peter Batty, Joe Alacqua, I mean, just really great people. And I said, I got to get this building. So we sat down and we crafted a deal. And mm -hmm. I was able to get the Knights of Columbus building, which is 5,500 square foot building. I said, I am going to build something great for the community. I'm going to have a, a center, a cardiovascular center, that's going to be mine and I'm going to run it. And I am going to offer the type of services that people can come to get highest quality at the right price. Well, you have done that, and we're going to take a quick break right now and talk more about your expansion, too, Dr. Boros, when we return from these messages. Stay with us.